You know, I always said that one day I would come out here. It's just raining the darkness now, the night. And pay my respects to Eric. And I'm a long, long way from home. But I made it. I always said I was going to come out here. Now I did. Um, it's a combination of sadness and happiness. How's everybody doing? So here I am in, I'm not exactly sure where, in California. And I know that it's going to be very, very, very windy. Maybe I should sit in the car to speak. Well, no, it seems okay right now. Let me just take a quick check. Yeah, I think this might be a little bit better, blocking the wind. Um, my camera uh, with the windsock is all packed away in the trunk. So I'm just shooting this quick, well, not quickly, but, uh, with a camera phone. I'm in Lafayette, California is where I am. Contra Costa County, I believe it's called, something like that. So who I'm visiting today in this video may not be well known to a lot of people, may not be well known to my viewers who watch my channel regularly. There's that wind. But he's well known to a ton of people, like, if you're a regular listener of the Howard Stern Show, you'll know who he is. Eric the Actor. Famously, <sighs> I don't even know how to explain Eric the Actor. It's difficult. There's a thing called the Whack Pack on the Howard Stern Show, which is a collection of people that call into the show or show up at the show that are on the show, part of it. And they're different for a variety, of, a variety of reasons. It could be uh, a disability, um, a phys physically or mentally. It sounds awful. I know already as I'm saying it out loud. Uh, the way they look or the way they talk. So there is, I mean, Howard Stern is not what you think. If, if you're not a fan of Howard Stern, you probably think, oh, Howard Stern is just a disgusting, you know, person a lot you know the usual stuff people think about Howard Stern but he's not he's actually very he's woke and he's he's a incredibly smart best interviews and he's he's morphed and changed over the years where he's not as offensive towards uh you know there's a different time in the ages and nineties when he was doing his more offensive things that people found offensive and um he's grown with the times He's quite, quite intelligent. I'm talking about Howard Cern right now. And he's, I, I don't know, just, just to say, because I know because the fact that there is a thing called the Whack Pack still, and they have like a collection of drunks like Jeff the Drunk. There's, there's, it's a collection of oddball characters. Let's leave it at that. But I was listening to a podcast with uh, Dax Shepard and Sarah Silverman, who are big Howard Stern fans, and they were talking about the Whack Pack. Well, so I'm listening to Dax Shepard and... Sarah Silverman talk about the whack pack and D Dax Shepard the actor is saying that what do we do about these people do we marginalize them place uh, with people that are in the whack pack when I say these people I mean the people in the whack pack do we marginalize them take them out of society not focus on them at all not give them a chance to have any sort of regular life or you know or fame and Sarah Silverman was kind of on the fence of whether it's exploitation although she's a huge Howard fan Regardless of how you how, how you view it, 
the members of the Whack Pack have become famous amongst Howard Stern fans and like cele- lots of celebrities, like big celebrities, know who they are because they're on the Howard. St- they go on the Howard Stern show. Cause Howard Stern has legions of fans. But the gentleman I'm here to talk about today is Eric the actor. Now, Eric the actor was a distinctive member of the Whack Pack. He didn't like to be called a member of the Whack Pack, but he was definitely a character, and he was definitely a real person. Now, he was... Every hand in life that could be dealt that is bad, this guy got it. He got the trifecta and more. He had Erlos Danos Syndrome, which is like a tissue disorder. He had dwarfism, a club foot. He was confined to a wheelchair. He had everything that could possibly happen to a human being since birth. All these things. And he, he, had to, he lived with it. And he lived till he was 39, which is a lot longer than he was given to live. But he first called in the Howard Stern show to complain to Howard Stern about uh, Howard Stern saying that Kelly Clarkson, I believe, had no talent. And well, this is on American Idol because... Uh, Eric was obsessed with wrestling, I believe the Oakland Raiders, and American Idol. So he called in complaining. He had a very distinct voice, and Howard thought, this voice, there's something about this voice, what do you look like? And then it went from there, snowballed. And there's hours, probably hundreds of hours on YouTube of Eric the actor calling in a Howard Stern show. So many shenanigans that went on with him. He had the foulest little mouth. He was so funny. And he was with it. He was, you know, he could be, he could give as good as he got. He got mercilessly teased and bullied by Howard Stern fans, and but he gave it right back in spades. I'm gonna take you over to show you where he's laid to rest, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about Eric a little bit. Okay, let's go. It's right here. I didn't have much trouble finding it. I had trouble finding the cemetery, but not the actual grave. Let's go. Eric loved Pepsi. So the fact that somebody left a Pepsi here. Eric, I hope this can finds you. You made me smile when I wanted to die. I miss you. Thank you for everything. Thanks for everything. Love, James. Wow. So Eric, the actor, Eric Lynch. Now, I'm not sure, this may be his grandfather here. It's another Lynch right here. I would assume so by the age. But yes, this is the final resting space. Resting place of Eric, the actor. Eric was hilarious I wouldn't like I said I wouldn't know where to begin to for to if you want to YouTube and listen to I guess you go from the start from Eric the actor first appearance on Howard Stern and you just listen and you'll get to love him I I listened every last minute of it, more than once I put it on fall asleep wake up he would still be talking in my ear him and Howard Amazing, amazing radio. And yeah, he brought me a lot of laughs. A lot of laughs. James with your Pepsi can. I hope wherever you are, man, you're doing good. I brought a big rock for Eric. Leave it right there. God is and all is well. It's a beautiful spot. Look at these rolling hills. 
And those are some wild turkeys running around over there. Let me zoom in and show you. I guess to some people it'd be, oh, that's really obscure of Scott to go to somebody who's not really that famous, not out there in the zeitgeist. He's famous in some circles, I'm telling you, mad famous. <laughs> and I just use the term mad and yeah, he was angry a lot. But how much of it was an act? So back in the car now, so you can actually hear me. Eric was, uh, and he's on a lot of TV shows, by the way. So you should, you could check him out on, uh, like clips on YouTube. You could just Google Eric the Actor TV shows. He made appearances and stuff. And, uh, well, he was, like, beyond bullied by Howard Stern fans and, um, online and, like, disrupting his life. And, but like I said before, he gave as good as he got. And I tweeted him one time and I forget how it started, what I said, but he was very wary of responding to me. I could tell by his, his terse response and like something like, thank you, I'm good. Something along those lines. And then I said, don't let like, don't let the bastards grind you down, that sort of thing. And he said, Again, well, thank you very much. I, I try not to let them get to me. Because he was, he was, he, I mean, he was called ungrateful. He was angry and he would yell and scream and swear a lot. So a lot of the fans took that to, as a form of obviously aggression and would, you know, go at him on the air, call in, and he'd fight. And it was just crazy. But it's entertainment. But it was also his life. He had to deal with it in his life. Like, when he wasn't calling the Howard Stern show, he would, you know, have to deal with it 24-7. But he got a lot of good out of the Howard Stern show. I mean, he got to go places and see things. But, I mean, imagine if you're trapped in that body where your mind is working and you can't function. I mean, it's... That's going to make... I You got to be... Um, I don't know. Like, there's some people that's, are, <clears throat> who have that sort of, maybe have those afflictions or are just completely positive and, and you know, deal with it. I don't, know if I, I don't know how I would be. I think I'd have a lot of anger. You'd have to. If, you, if you're watching other people be able to do everything that you can't do, but you want to do. But anyway, so I struck up a friendship with Eric. And we, we spoke and we would tweet back and forth. We would... He said, I'm going to add, <laughs> I remember he said, when he tweeted to me, he said, I'm going to add you, but if you say anything rude to me, I will block you. And I said, oh, and I texted back, he said, no, of course not, no. Because I guess he got that all the time. Like people trying to trick him and stuff into being, uh, trying to get him to do his on-air persona and be all crazy and angry. But we struck up a nice friendship and we would tweet back and forth. You know, how's your day? How are you doing? That went on for a little while. And then, like anything, you know, you just kind of can't keep everything going. And then I heard the news. Uh, somebody texted me and said he passed away. And it was really, really hard. It was very sad. Because I listened to every, every second of radio time that he put in. I listened to it. And I was a fan. And then I got to... I wouldn't say he was a friend, but, you know, we were friendly. And he knew that I was someone he could trust. When we, we would tweet, when we would direct message each other, you know, with some... I, you know, just talked to him about regular stuff. 
I didn't want anything from him because he was famous. I just thought he was really cool. Yeah. So Howard Stern fans, Eric the actor, we all love him. And I hope uh, people that watch my channel regularly maybe check out a little bit about Eric the actor, see what he's all about. He was one cool dude. Okay. And his manager, Johnny Frado, his manager, he was in on the joke too. And he was a pretty funny guy. And he died not too long ago. I'm not exactly sure when. And that's too bad because he was a funny guy too. And Johnny and Eric together on the air is comedy radio gold. Just perfect. All right. Rest in peace, Eric the actor and Johnny Frado. But I'm here right now with Eric. And I hope... I don't know. I hope he's drinking Pepsi in heaven and he's getting everything he wants and Howard Stern fans know what he wants. All right. Baba Booey. Peace out. There's Eric right there. I'm glad I made it out here. Finally. And as Eric would say, bye for now.